Morning and all, welcome to a new video. Sid from Partridge Exterior Cleaning here. Uh, today I'm a repeat customer. Um, I cleaned the roof a few months ago, uh, but today I'm back to do the patio, um, which is a lovely patio. Uh, it's a stone that's not yet been featured on the channel before, uh, which will be interesting. Now this is black limestone, um, but it hasn't been sealed before, which means that it's uh, been really heavily covered in dirt and it may have faded slightly as well. Um, I'm not going to be sealing it, but I'm gonna to talk to the customer um, he's a really good customer, so I might actually offer to uh, reseal it um, if they want me to, or some, if we get the weather for it anyway. Um, but I'm going to inquire about it because I haven't sealed uh, limestone before or cleaned black limestone. I've cleaned limestone but not black limestone. So here we are, we've got a path running up here, and I mean you can see how grubby it is. Now when this first was laid, it probably, that's a wet spot there, it probably looked black like that. Um, but now it's gone like a very dull grey. Now there is rust in some sections as well. Um, probably not going to be able to sort that out today, but I've just inquired um, about some gel um, from a company that apparently will remove this. So um, yeah, I'm going to probably, if the customer wants me to, I'm going to order some of that in. And then I'll come back on another day and try and sort these little rust stains out, because there's like a few dyed around here and there. Um, and here's the patio around the back. So it's a lovely, nice size to it. Um, there's a bit that spans up around that little uh, outhouse there as well. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I mean, it's just really grubby like this. So you've got those classic stains. Actually, is that dented? Yeah, that's actually dented. So I don't know what's happened there. It looks like something he heavy has been sat on it. That's actually, it's not level, that isn't. It's been completely dented, which is very odd. Um, so yeah, that's quite unusual, actually. And then I'll try and have to move this barbecue as well. Goes around here. I'll smarten up all these edges as well. There's that bit that follows around there. And then finally we've got a long path that spans down here as well. So I've had a good little research um, and I've spoken to a few people. I spoke to Ben at Flawless Cleaning, shout out to him. Um, he said he's never actually cleaned black limestone before either, so it must be an uncommon one. Um, but yeah, it's, it's classic when it's something that's natural stone like this. Really low pressure, just go slow, not too slow. Um, try and make it nice and even. It'd be one of them where you sort of don't really take your finger off the trigger. Um, almost the whole job to avoid any stripes and lines, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do our best and a treatment of sodium hypochlorite if needed as well. So without further ado, I'll uh, just take some pictures and stuff and then I'll get stuck in. So yeah, enjoy.
right then folks that is stage one complete um it's all just had a basic clean as you've seen on the video um watch i've missed a bit over there you see the triangle over there i think i've missed a bit i'll have to go back and get that um anyway now so yeah you think wow look at that that looks amazing which it does really nice and clean obviously still there's holes there um there's something here now the barbecue is here so i reckon that's melted i mean the stones come up and everything so i reckon that was some melted something that landed on that and melted it burnt it there's something over here which i do not that's oh my god look at that i don't know what that is i'm really not sure no idea what that is um stains where pots have been so yeah well, there's some marks and you think i mean that's paint that's what's clear as day paint um there's paint over there as well where they've painted that um it's actually painted on the uh limestone uh rust i was thinking man what's caused these rust marks and then i thought ah oh, bottom of that is all rusty so yeah that's just been that sat on here um which is why it's rusty so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to keep the surface wet and i'm going to apply um bleach on it i'm going to do it quite quite weak one to four one to five maybe of sodium hypochlorite just to see if we can get out any of these stains um i'm going to do a small incons inconspicuous test patch first just in case and then just yeah tidy up some of the edges um right bleach time so i'm going to get ppe'd up get my mask on get my gloves on uh and apply some so yeah see you in a minute that's what i was going to say it's really hard to see what you're doing with this um because it's black so it's uh it just it all mixes into one it's really hard to say um but i'm pretty sure apart from that i've covered everything else um i've just done a little test patch down there i've only just put it on so it's got i'm gonna leave it for a good 10 minutes at least um the point of doing that i'd recommend anyone to do it even if you know i mean it's natural stone so um bleach and things like that is fine on this should be absolutely no worries with it but just in case um because you never know something could happen you could have there could have been something on it which hasn't come off with pressure it could react with it stain it who knows what could happen um you know i'm not a scientist i'd rather do a small test patch especially on expensive stone like this um just just in case because if it started to stain it and it was like oh crap quick clean it off you know try and rinse it down clean it clean it clean it if anything happened now it's only one slab so you could replace it's only a small one as well so i could replace that um i could pay for it no worries however if i had just went and went psh, all over this scrub 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 whole load of bleach on a many thousand pound patio like this yeah i can't really afford to be uh yeah replacing that um and i don't think my insurance would be too happy with me either and they probably wouldn't pay out so yeah i would be uh screwed so just gonna leave that make sure it stays wet um rinse it off hopefully everything's all good with it and then i can do all of the patio then and see if it comes up lovely so yeah nice one Right then folks, all done. Um, it's still soaking wet. I've rinsed it down like five times just to make sure there was no uh, bleach left on the surface. Just because there's a kid and a dog here or a cat. It's a dog or a cat, I can't remember. Um, so yeah, you don't want any bleach lying around. 
Um, so yeah, here's the final product. So now this is a problem I've actually just found out uh, during this clean. Um, so I've spoken to a few people that this is actually like the most avoided surface to pressure wash <laughs> just because of how especially if unsealed of how easy it is um to leave my well you definitely will there will be marks it's sort of like an uneven clean and there's not really much you can do about it um so i've just found that out which is lovely but i mean i wasn't expecting the world with it anyway i mean it looks great now i'm just worried about when it's dry um obviously i won't be here long enough to find out but i'm just going to say to the customer say look if you're not happy with it um i'm not going to uh, charge you for the job I'll just say just do it for free and then I'll just really highly recommend getting it sealed because you can get like the back to black or something I think it's called um, and then that will even everything up and it's just basically resealing the uh, sealing the stones but from what I can see I mean I've, I've scoured every inch um, and there is obviously the rust that we mentioned earlier there's this stuff where stuff has been it's not coming off it's just I think that's just the way it is. I mean, that's actually damaged there as well. So something heavy has been sat on that for a long time. Um, so yeah, I do really think sealing is the only option because it will, it will look like this, you know what I mean? So, um, But obviously when it dries, it's going to have a different look. That thing over there, you know what I thought was uh, me leaving a mark? It actually wasn't. I think it's part of the stone. It's going to be hard for me to get it up. Yeah. It's a perfect triangle. It's actually a really sharp line that goes across there. Um, yeah, I went over it like three times, it does not come up, so that's unfortunate, but I think it might just be part of the stone. Because with natural stone like this, there is just natural stuff in it, I mean, look, this is all bumpy and it's just, yeah, it's very odd, very odd surface to clean. The, the sort of normal limestone that I cleaned, uh, when I first got my flat surface cleaner, that came up great, I mean, when it was dried as well, it came up absolutely lovely, so I'm hoping it'll be the same with this, but uh, we just don't know. If it's a total fail, um, and it doesn't look very good at all uh, when, it's, when it comes up, I'll make sure to let you all know. And then maybe I'll, I'll offer to seal the job and we can um, learn that together as well. Because I've sealed driveways in the past and patios and stuff, but never limestone. So it's all a learning experience. I'll definitely get the some tips from some pros on that that I know of. So. But yeah, that's about it. So I'll do a quick walkthrough again now, just so you all can see the job properly. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, something a bit different. I mean, it's not every day you come across this type of stone. It's a first for me, so I'll try and see if I can see what it would look like where it's drying out. But it's too wet. It's not very wet. Well, it's a little bit warm today, but nothing major. But yeah, very odd. There's just patches and stuff everywhere. I mean, look at this. What is that? Do you know what I mean? I mean, that's not a mark from pressure washing it's you know what i mean it would be a straight line if it was but there's loads of stuff that's raised there as well that's really weird but uh yeah there we are anyway obviously i didn't do any of this but just rinsed it down so yeah so that's about it so yeah hope you enjoyed the video everyone if you did leave it a like subscribe if you want to um and i'll see you very soon i've got a crazy week next week so look forward to uh some some videos then so yeah thank you very much everyone cheers